Hi, everyone. My name is Greg Hunter. I'm the editorial director of Learner's Graphic Universe Imprint, uh, and I'm here to talk to you about all the graphic novels we have coming out this fall 2020. Thank you for joining me. First up, uh, Creole a Tus Ojos. Creole a Tus Ojos is the first book in the CC Un Cuento de Ada series. Uh, that's, that's our Spanish language version of the CC A Fairy Tale series. These are big hearted graphic novels by Eisner nominated artist Tyler Page and award winning author Corey Dorfeld. They're about a young Latinx girl who turns 10 and discovers a set of fairy powers that turn her world upside down. Uh, CC can see the true nature of a person which, coupled with the divorce of her parents and the arrival of her grandmother, is not always a welcome complication in her life. Uh, we're really happy to be sharing the first book with Spanish language readers and we'll have translations of the next volumes in the coming seasons. Next up, uh, Super Potato and the Castle of Robots. There's a lot of debate about what the best book title ever is, but I'm confident we found it with this one. In Super Potato and the Castle of Robots, which is the fifth volume in Arthur La Perla's very popular Super Potato series, a large robot attacks a local mall and Super Potato puts a stop to it. Um, Some time in a junkyard encourages the robot to turn over a new leaf, um, and it leads Super Potato on a road trip back to its inventor's castle. At the villain's lair, Super Potato finds an even more formidable foe in his robotic double Potatech. Uh, these books are very funny, they're great for reluctant readers, and they're never afraid of the totally ridiculous. Out on a Limb is book two in the Cassandra Animal Psychic series, uh, and this book finds Cassandra trying to do more good for animals and their people in her area. Uh, this time she's working to arrange a new home for a dog. And uh, as with the first book, being an animal psychic is really the easy part of Cassandra's day to day. She's getting used to living in a blended family and the story looks at the complications of that. The story also builds on a crush she developed and Cassandra steps out and it does something I haven't seen in a lot of middle grade graphic novels. Uh, that's look at what happens when the sort of magical first date you're supposed to have uh, actually kind of doesn't live up to your hopes. It's very sweet, it's very well drawn, and it provides a strong mix of supernatural chats with animals and relatable adolescent experiences too. Lizard in a Zoot Suit is an original young adult graphic novel by Mexican American author, artist, Marco Finnegan. Lizard in a Zoot Suit takes place in Los Angeles during the Zoot Suit Riots of 1943. Uh, this period saw tensions explode between sailors stationed in the area and the Latinx youths who called Southern California home. Against that backdrop, the story follows two sisters who discover a stranded member of an undiscovered lizard-like species, uh, and it becomes their mission to return the creature to its home and help it find its family. Uh, and in the meantime, they have to keep it away from a corrupt military scientists, and we'll have to uh, dress it up in a zoot suit in the process. Lizard uh, in a Zoot Suit has echoes of other much-loved stories from E.T. to The Shape of Water, uh, while also feeling like something totally unique. It has really stylish two-color artwork. It lives up to its title in terms of the fun, adventure, and humor it has to offer. And it explores a fascinating historical moment of unrest. Um, for readers who want to learn more about the Zoot Suit Riots, there's even back matter sharing a bit more about the Mexican-American experience in Los Angeles and the aggressions they encountered uh, around this time. Athletes Who Made a Difference is a four book graphic nonfiction series. Uh, these books look at the relationship between sports and culture, and in particular, uh, they show how the choices of athletes can impact the world around them. Uh, they're concise, really accessible, 32-page biographies with some cool facts in the back still for sports fans. And they do a great job of balancing sports action uh, and social history. Readers can learn about Jesse Owens' standout Olympic performance uh, in Berlin of Nazi Germany, Jackie Robinson's resilience uh, in helping desegregate pro baseball, uh, and Serena Williams' mission to push back against racism and sexism in professional tennis. Uh, I'll highlight the Colin Kaepernick title as well, uh, because for readers who may have been too young to notice or understand Kaepernick's protests against anti-black violence when he started them uh, in 2016, 
The Colin Kaepernick entry in the series uh, is a really accessible introduction to his life and how he became such an influential figure in our current moments. Um, you know, for all volumes, there are also supplementary materials like a glossary index for the reading to give readers more paths to explore sports or explore social history. Mega Dogs of New Kansas is a new middle grade graphic novel for sci-fi fans and dog lovers. Uh, this book follows Sienna, a young girl on an outer space human settlement where dogs have been bred to be bigger and more powerful to help fend off alien threats. Uh, and after a prank goes wrong, people decide that Sienna's pet dog, Gus, is a problem dog, uh, leading Sienna to run away from home. Once she finds a, another kid from New Kansas, Kevin has stowed away with her. Sienna, Kevin, and Gus crash land on the far side of the planet. And while they're there, they discover a danger that threatens all of the settlers in New Kansas. There's a, a ton of really lively sci-fi imagery in this book. The artist, Jacques Corey, has serious chops, uh, and there's also real sweetness to it. In addition to the danger and adventure in the book, author Dan Jolly has created a thoughtful plotline about Sienna overcoming social anxiety. Uh, and beyond the outer space trappings, I think anyone who's owned a pet will recognize the bond between Sienna and Gus, who's a massive Bernese mountain dog. Uh, it's a real tribute to the gifts pets give us, in addition to being a fantastical sort of space romp. A Light in the Darkness, A Lock in the Door is the second volume of the House Divided series, a quirky, funny, and heartfelt fantasy series from author Heike Hornig and art artist Marius Pawlitza. This book follows Henrietta Achilles, a teenage orphan who learns that she had an uncle uh, and that he was a notorious wizard and that she's inherited his manor. Uh, the second book finds Henrietta, along with warring bands of thieves and soldiers, who have occupied the house, coming together after a magical flooding problem threatens to drown them and the town nearby. Uh, we start to see more of the series' grand design in these books, uh, with more glimpses into the work of Henrietta's mysterious uncle. And we also begin to learn uh, about the tragic shared past of the book's bandit leader and his military rival. Um, there are notes of real poignancy in the story. Um, although first and foremost, it's a colorful, energetic fantasy tale, uh, you know, the kind of book you should get some popcorn for. Entertainment Weekly called the first volume a delight, um, and I, I defy you to put down A Light in the Darkness, the second volume, uh, after the character's encounter with the giant fish. And last up, Ever After, this uh, young adult horror graphic novel comes to us from German author-artist Olivia Buig. For readers who are looking for a kind of uh, apocalyptic catharsis in a graphic novel read right now, Ever After is a really standout story among zombie tales. There are genuine scares here, and the story never looks away from uh, a frightening moment, but there's also a real psychological depth and even a poetry to the work. Um, Kirkus has called it a, a melancholic but multicolored apocalyptic tale told with originality. Um, in a German landscape uh, with a couple barricaded safe zones and long stretches of you know, zombie-filled countryside in between them, two young women named Vivi and Eva find themselves stranded outside. Uh, Vivi's uh, overcome by grief and guilt uh, ever since the start of the zombie outbreak. Uh, and Eva's starting to slowly turn into one of the undead herself. Like all great road stories, they start out at odds with each other uh, but have to work together. And a big part of the story is the bond they eventually find. Uh, the German edition of this graphic novel, Enzite, has already been adapted uh, for a feature film of the same name. So it's really exciting to be the uh, English language pu publisher uh, of this edition. Uh, Olivia, uh, the author, reaches for tones and experiences in her story that just make it a totally unique zombie tale. Uh, and that includes the graphic novel, or the Graphic Unit First Fall 2020 list. Um, thank you again so much for joining me and take care.